The African entertainment industry has over the years grown into a recognized brand. Gone are the days when parents discouraged their children from art-related fields. This has seen the emergence of great actors, comedians, musicians and cartoonists. So what drives people into the art world? I met up with Alex Mathenge, commonly known for his online program Makarao TV, to try get into his creative mind. I started uh, seeing these guys of ridiculous and I wanted to be like them, so I joined the uh, Kenyatta University Travelling Theatre. That's where we did set books, uh, we did plays, comedies, stand-up comedies, uh, and that's where I decided instead of going to teaching, uh, which was my degree, education, I, I said, let me go to arts. He sharpened his art and along the way discovered lots of other talents. I've done a, a lot of XYZ. Uh, I was the voice of Moy and Kiraide. Uh, yeah. So how viable is the entertainment market in Africa? According to reports released in the fall of the year 2015, the Kenyan entertainment scene made more than 189 billion shillings in revenue by selling its wares online through applications like Facebook, Viber, YouTube and WhatsApp. Reports released by PricewaterhouseCoopers says this is expected to rise to 347 billion shillings in the next four years. Of course, social media has done 100% because we are not on TV. Like YouTube, you can see we have like 1.5 million views. Uh, those are 1.5 million people who've seen our work. And uh, apart from that, many guys who've approached us to do their commercials, their uh, products, they've seen us on social media. So it has worked 100%. Makarao TV is a webisode that tells the drama of two police officers brought out in a creative way. <laughs> Makarao is a street word meaning police. They use comedy to tell different situations police find themselves in. <laughs> Animation is not as easy as it may seem, according to Alex. Uh, we met with a guy called Alex Kirui uh, when we were doing Makarao uh, in some event, and he said he is interested in uh, animating uh, some comedy skits. So we gave him so many audios, but apparently animation takes a lot of time because like uh, for one clip he takes a whole month to, to make ideas get still before we even animate. Like if a story is very hot now, if you start animating it, it will come out two months later because uh, we still don't have equipment for animation. <laughs> The Kenya police force has over the years been on the spotlight for corruption and police brutality. So why would they use the police to tell their story? The way the police uh, behave, it's only funny because we, we are citizens and we see them all the time and we think it's funny. And the way m most policemen speak, uh, it's funny and we've we've made it comedy. Six two was banned to the congregation. And are they not afraid the police might catch up with them? Uh, carrying costumes is an issue. Once you pass by roadblocks, they think uh, you guys are up to some mischief. You have to show them videos of you performing, proving that you are actors and just not uh, uh, bad guys. And as our conversation came to an end, he had a word for the creatives. Uh, don't force creativity. If, if something is not creative to you, it will not be creative to other people.